the Man is an adaptation of Timothy Connor Graves' uh, memoir, which was published in 1995, uh, and he finished it on his deathbed, and uh, it uh, charts his love story with his lover John from 1969 to 1992. And the book uh, won the United Nations uh, Human Rights Award for um, liter literature in 1995, and uh, has a real cult following as a book. So I guess there was a lot of apprehension about why it should be made a play and why it should be made a play here. But the key to that, I think, is that Tim is a theatre maker and uh, mm. so his story should be told theatrically. Doing this adaptation sort of started kind of in a kind of bureaucratic way. The first thing I did was um, make a spreadsheet of all the scenes that were on offer, um, uh, the timeline, trying to get my head around how to not only uh, tell the, the whole story, if I was going to tell the whole story, um, but kind of how to make use of the passage of time. I guess it's a story about time running out, so there was um, a lot of uh, games to be played with time, I guess, and uh, um, that also kind of gave us our key to about the theatricality. I guess one of our real reasons for wanting to do Holding the Man initially was simply the connection to the building here, that Tim worked here in the 80s and it offered scenes that would be set on our stage, um, which, you know, it's a pretty unique thing, I think, to have that connection to the building in a, in a performance. I think in some ways it was a gamble telling this story because you th we thought, you know, perhaps an audience had dealt with uh, at the AIDS story, even the AIDS love story, enough. But the response has told us otherwise. Um, there's a real fascination with the social history part of it. I didn't know that was going to be the reaction, but I knew going into this that I'd never seen an AIDS play on stage. I'd read a lot, but I'd never actually seen an AIDS play. And I think a big part of our audience hadn't, hasn't either. But also we're at a distance where there's no real political agenda to inform an audience about AIDS, and we can focus on the personal impact. I went and spoke to a school who came and saw it the other night. And I was just sort of asking them about their experience of HIV and sort of saying, you know, what, what do you know of it? And how old were you when the Grim Reaper commercial aired? They worked out that they were born two years after that. But their, so, so their response to it was a real fascination for, for what is HIV and what happened in our city just a minute ago and is still kind of happening. A play like Holding the Man is a gamble. Like I was saying, you don't know if this story has been told enough and um, you don't know if this story is going to be irrelevant, dated, and the response from the audience has told us that it, that it hasn't.